Hey there folks, this is another video from my trading plan and um, I want to show you another swing trade that uh, I took using one of the strategies that I'm going to uh, cover in the very near future and it's actually on the US dollar, uh, Canadian dollar currency pair and the great thing about this particular trade was the, the risk was very very low it was uh, 14 pips in risk over 30 pips in profit so just a better than two to one uh, reward to risk ratio uh, could have probably done a little bit better knowing uh, what I see in the chart after the trade was completed but I'll show you um, the reasoning why I got in when I uh, I got out when I when I did uh, here's the entry price here it was at uh, 1.01 what is that price there we got it at one second here there we go uh, 1.0168 that was the fill price and uh, this was a, a buy order that was placed in the market at uh, 0168 and take profit was up here at 1.0202 and you can see once we um, went long in this currency pair that there was no uh, no drawdown uh, really to speak about perhaps uh, well maybe about five six pips there um, in hindsight you know I would have loved to have maybe perhaps trailed this uh, a little bit but you know what if you look at here uh, even though it did rally from you know the 200 level up to uh, 255 it wasn't actually 55 pips in there and it's pretty much retracing right back down to this this area of support that was resistance well we'll see if it's going to stay uh, support you never know right it's got to test it first and then we'll check it out so it's potential support it clearly was a resistance level um, so let me just show you why I decided to take profits at that certain level it's simply because of this the trade got in through here um, you can see this reversal candle here oops you see the reversal candle here um, you know pretty uh, long upper shadow pretty much the whole same uh, about 50 percent of the entire candle from uh, top to bottom so it was just uh, a little bit lower than the high of this candle which was 0208 and I got out of 0202 just in case there was just a bit of a retest and it fell down um, you know it's a reversal candle so if you're looking for high probability exits you know you want to target um, you know previous highs previous lows depending if you're long or short so uh, in hindsight yeah I could have grabbed a bit more but uh, price started coming right back down to where I got out so it was hit and miss right hit and miss uh, we still haven't had a close you know so you know we, we made a new high here didn't close below here we have a new high here and we'll see what happens if it closes behind uh, this big thrusting candle up here well it's not really a thrusting candle but this uh, this candle went from uh, 0160 up to uh, 255 so uh, pretty big move on the US dollar CAD so we'll see what happens you know it's clearly got an upper shadow here it did rally to this high sold off uh, closed probably about uh, just over mid range of this candle and we'll see what happens after this you know we did make a new high do we gonna get a close below this candle here and once you start seeing that start to happen um, you know start looking for um, more of some bearish opportunities I want to show you one more trade let's give me one second here this is on the uh, pound US and uh, this is a, a daily chart here um, right now it's up 79 pips I'm filming uh, this on Saturday so we'll see what happens when the market opens Sunday night into uh, Monday but um, this red line is my stop entry price was at uh, 1.5244 I'm looking for about 1.5064 on this um, I will check in later uh, when markets open obviously for next week around the 5125 level just to see what the markets doing there just to give you a better view of this where are we here okay yeah so the sell order was uh, 1.5244 it was sitting in the market finally got triggered in on this green candle right here uh, at 5247 and you can see the market just basically uh, collapsed after that um, and this trade unfortunately started up uh, Friday afternoon which uh, never liked that around uh, 1 o'clock 12 o'clock 1 o'clock uh, Eastern time so uh, we'll see what happens with this big uh, long candle down here you know this low down here 5130 is going to be a, a telling a telling area but uh, you know we don't know what's gonna happen until uh, the price gets there and 
if anything, probably just lock in some some profit depending on what's going on. You know, but the only thing with this particular chart, you know, we've had this nice big sell off. Um, there's not too much over. If I scroll over, you know, we've got down here at the uh, 4250 level, which happened back in uh, 2010. So, you know, we'll see what happens. Uh, we've broken through these areas here. Uh, we're support with some strength, you know, which is a 5230 level. And um, let me see something here. 5230 is uh, 5230. That's the entry price. 4950. We have this little area here to worry about as well. So we'll let it on the weekly chart. Okay, so we'll see what happens. Uh, you know, start a start of uh, business for our trading, and um, we'll check it out after that. Um, at the end of the day, you know, it's simply you want to make sure you um, take care of the risk portion of your trades. Um, and what's great about swing trading the forex? Called the forex. I hate when people say the forex, but when you swing trade currency uh, like this, the spot forex market, you um, Sometimes you can find these these trades that set up with very little risk, um, and if you use the position sizing approach of a percentage of your account per trade, uh, sometimes you can get into some really nice moves uh, with some, you know, a nice size position because you're only risking, you know, a handful of pips consider uh, compared to the the overall risk. Um, for example, in this pound US trade that we're looking at right now, let me just see if I can bring this up a little bit so we can see it better. Yeah, we can do that. You know, you can see where the stop is on this trade. Let me just see if I can grab uh, this. And the entry price is here, right? So you're looking at the difference between this and this for the risk, and then here's the profit. If anything, you know, I'll move it up to here, right? And you can still see that if you look from here to here. It's a lot bigger than from here to there, so we'll see what happens. Anyhow, um, this will be a strategy that I'm going to cover um, when I get around to that, actually. <laughs> I'm not exactly sure when the start date on that one is, but um, that's it. All right, thanks uh, for watching.